All right, just a disclaimer real quick. I'm not some Sony pony or Sony fanboy or whatever people call it. I also am upset that we haven't been able to see what the PS5 is going to look like or some games for the system. But hear me out. Sony knows what they are doing. It seems almost crazy that I feel the need to make a video saying this because of course a huge billion dollar company knows how to go about the release of their fifth mainline console. As I said, I do agree that it, it is very odd and frustrating the way they're going about the release of information for this PlayStation 5, but they know what they have. Listen, who has had the most powerful console for the past two to three years now? Microsoft has had the most powerful console on the market, and look at the sales numbers for both the PS4 and Xbox One. Sony absolutely killed it. We all know why as well. Sony has the exclusives. They have God of War, they have Horizon Zero Dawn, they have Spider-Man, they have The Last of Us, they have banger after banger after banger, and this is well known, which is why I find it crazy that saying the PS5 is going to outperform the Xbox Series X is the perspective from the minority side right now. We know they're going to have God of War 2. We know they're going to have Horizon Zero Dawn 2. We know there will be a Spider-Man 2. We know these will all be on the PS5. Yes, Microsoft has signed plenty of studios and new talent, but I don't believe they will have these high caliber games. And if they do, it won't be as abundant as Sony. Let me also throw this statement out there real fast. Before you get ready to type your heated comments down below, I'm going to say this first statement then I'll explain it in more detail. The people who genuinely care about specs are going to be interested in a PC if they don't already own one. Yes, I know that high end gaming PCs are not cheap, they're actually very far from cheap but that is where you are going to get crazy performance and crazy specs i do admit that the xbox series x is very impressive and powerful and yeah if it does go for the rumored 500 to 600 dollar range then it is even a great deal compared to a high-end pc but the general consumer the general console owner does not care or even need the craziest most powerful system let's look at the ps5 obviously the specs you can't actually look at the system itself yet the system is still very powerful. You're going to get stellar performance with the more powerful GPU and CPU than the PS4, and you're going to get crazy fast load times with the new SSD. It will feel even nicer being able to swing around the city as Spider-Man and hack your way through enemies as Kratos on the PS5. Obviously the marketing will be easy for Microsoft when it comes to the specs and comparisons of power in that category, but guess what Sony will be able to market? those first party exclusives that the players love. This is why I believe Sony doesn't have anything to worry about and why I find it crazy how much doubt there is for them. I get it, it's frustrating that we haven't seen a lot of the PS5, but I don't believe it warrants the hate it's receiving as of right now. The console will still drop this year unless of course the vir this virus gets in the way and you still will have your PlayStation to play. Jesus, I know I sound like the biggest fanboy right now, but genuinely, I hope that Xbox can surprise me this generation. I, I want them to, to succeed. I, I just want every system to succeed. I'm just saying, Sony knows what they have.